All right. Hello, hello, everyone. How you guys doing today? Uh, my name is Junior, and I want to welcome you all back to the Daily Digital, uh, the one show that keeps you all well informed of what's going on or what has been going on in our ever-growing digital world. Today is August the 1st, so we're already into the second month of the third quarter, and I would just like to bring you a few stories that I found uh, that's all surrounding the bar industry. Uh, well, not so much as bars, but you know, everybody likes to have a good time. Everybody likes to have, go out and have a few drinks. So that's what we're going to be discussing here today. I've got four stories on that. And also today, I'm um, kind of keeping up with a certain little trend, some news I'm starting up. Uh, today is going to be Merchandise Mondays. Um, so that just means that I'm going to share with you every Monday a product or some sort that actually um, is like a more digital product for, you know, like the tech people and stuff uh, that I found pretty interesting that you may also like as well. So with that being said, we're just going to take a quick break and then we'll jump right into it. Okay, so again, for all of those drinkers out there who likes to delve into a little bit of a cocktail here and there, the four stories that we have is all surrounding the bar industry. Um, as you can see here, I've got a article here that talks about drinking cocktails while in outer space at Bar Mini. Uh, bar Mini is just a bar in, and let me not get this wrong, uh, I don't think it's London. I know this article kind of talks about a couple of situations here. Um, it might be London though, I'm not sure. Uh, they don't really say off the top. Uh, but yeah, so basically what's going on is that these companies are different industries. We mentioned last week about how the NBA is entering the metaverse. Uh, now these bars are also entering the metaverse and this company, uh, Car Bar Mini, is doing just that. Uh, one way they are doing that, and I also have a video here to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. But one, one way they're doing that is using AR technology, uh, augmented reality, in order to uh, basically, if you can kind of see here, um, this cocktail here is just a glass with, you know, some drink in it. But then as you can see here, using your cell phone, they actually put a um, target on there, which is a, you know, AR term for looking at an image and then actually having some sort of augmented um, something happen and they have all of these different flowers coming out of this drink here. Uh, so that's one way they are diving into the bar industry. Uh, the other way is actually using AR, or I'm sorry, VR technology, virtual reality, uh, which they don't have a, uh, I don't think they really have a video or image on it here. Uh, but you can kind of see this guy here, he's kind of sitting at a bar um, and he's kind of having some virtual reality glasses on. And they talk about how they are experimenting with VR to deploy uh, phone based headsets and actually put yourself into an immersive state so you could actually be drinking a cocktail uh, with a couple of aliens on a VR spaceship or something like that as well uh, so it's all about being immersive it's all about actually taking yourself and putting it into a different scenario uh, so you can get a whole new experience you know you're no longer um, just in the same experience that you used to be in um, you can actually place yourself in a different world so I kind of have a quick video on that here Uh, and this is, I guess, a company called City Social Augmented Reality Cocktail Menu, as you can see. They're actually putting some technology behind some of these drinks that you can actually use straight from your smartphone device. That, that's probably the one I like the best right My there. My name is James Jones. I'm the group, ex group executive bar manager for the social company. The concept behind Mirage, our new cocktail menu, City Social was to use augmented reality to bring our cocktails to life. You simply need to download our free app, and then when your drink arrives at your table on a specific coaster, point your phone at the coaster and sit back and enjoy the show. So, with our drink, the Calavera, we've taken a trip through to ancient Mexico using the traditional style of artwork, which is the sugar schools, still used today. We have Don Julio Blanco tequila, we have a sangrita spice mix, and we have pomegranate juice, and a really exciting animation to attack. All right, all right, don't get too thirsty there. Um, I just want to give a little quick snippet of what that actually looks like. And so a couple of things about that, the guy mentioned that uh, it was a menu, um, but in order for you to see it, you actually have to get a coaster first. And the only time you're really gonna get a coaster 
is when you get your out drink already. So it's kind of interesting how they call it a menu, uh, even though to me it would be you know more like just a visual representation of what that item actually is. Um, the other side of it is actually they said you have to download their app. So I mentioned last week about web-based AR to where you don't have to download the app, but just imagine going to a restaurant or a bar for the first time uh, and then having to sit there and download the app. You're probably only going to spend an hour there um, and then having to do that. In my opinion, web-based would be a whole lot better for that specific uh, purpose right there. Um, of course, an individual app for other things may be better, but that specific purpose, web-based would probably be a lot better. Um, but yeah, I mean, the technology is cool. They did a really good job with the AR. Um, and you know, that might be a spark into introducing AR into your own experience as well. All right. And so the next one here would be an actual, um, AR menu and this company is actually creating the menus. So as you can see here, the company is called menu.ar. To see a dish on your table is a reality, augmented reality. And as you can see here, a photo. the entire range of food that you see in menu AR is a three dimensional image of the real dishes. You can see the texture of the products, their ingredients and size. Point the camera at the table and see the desired order in front of you. So real, you wish to have it immediately. We create a menu in augmented reality, taking the following steps. Our photographer comes to a place with a special box to take photos in. The photographer takes shots of freshly cooked dishes from different angles. About 200 photos will be taken in 15 minutes. Then a 3D artist creates three-dimensional images of your dishes. Now, this is not a flat picture on a paper menu, but a modern virtual offer of your place. Guests can install the app on their phones, put some pamphlets with QR codes in your restaurant. Using the hints, a visitor easily goes to your menu just by scanning the code. So to me, this is just a little bit better because again, you get to just scan a QR code and then that QR code takes you to the business's website um, and show their actual menu, their web AR menu in that case. Um, again, all of this is really, 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 really interesting, really, really cool. Um, I believe you can take this not only inside of the restaurant industry, but actually provide it into some other industries as well to where you can show a full blown menu uh, or even, you know, just a catalog or a brochure or something like that um, that is going to be um, uh, augmented pretty much. Uh, so say for example, funeral homes and stuff like that, they could actually have a list of coffins that are for sale. Um, and then you can actually just take an augmented reality image of it, take the 3D uh, object and actually place it on your phone. And then from there, you can see the actual real thing in front of you. You can see how all the detail and stuff like that works. Um, that could be one use case for it. Um, and then, I mean, there's a bunch else of them out there as well. So that one right there would be a real menu in my opinion. Um, and actually kind of show you how they do it just by taking those images first. And then from there, they take the 3d, um, or they take those images, make it into a 3d object and then place it on the AR side. Alrighty. So now we have the product of the day. So you guys have probably been seeing this product around, um, the past couple of weeks, even months. It's been around for quite some time. But it is basically if you have a laptop um, or a computer, doesn't matter which one, I don't believe. Um, and then you actually took your uh, cell phone and attached it to it to be um, as like a standalone free floating um, cell phone holder kind of thing. So I know we've all seen those cell phone holders uh, that sit on our desk, but now they're taking this a little bit step further to where they can actually, and you can kind of see here the uh, quote unquote benefits of it. Instead of having it on, on, the, um, on your desk or instead of holding it up in your hand, you can actually see it right there in real time in front of you. Um, and this is not, you know, too expensive or anything like that. I believe it's magnetic. So it attaches to your phone, uh, via magnet and then attaches, you know, probably like a sticky thing onto the, your, um, 
uh, your laptop or whatever, and it looks like it just kind of swivels in and out as needed. Um, but it's only $13.99. This is a Amazon Choice recommended um, laptop stand by DK177. I have not bought this brand. I don't know this company, but I just want to show you guys uh, that this exists. You can actually just Google laptop phone holder and then Amazon laptop phone holder, same thing. And then actually you'll find a whole bunch of them that actually does pop up. Um, so yeah, so in case you guys are looking for a new cell phone holder or something like that, definitely do check out those kinds, a uh, bunch of different brands out there, uh, maybe ship from China and whatnot, but you know, um, they're, they're pretty cool. I actually think about getting one myself, but I do want, well, this is probably going to be the product for next week. So a little sneak peek on that, but I do want multiple screens for my laptop. Stay tuned. Um, all right, so the next one here is going to be a company called Kettle One. Again, if you are a drinker, uh, you may have came across Kettle One Vodka before. And a few years ago, this is actually published in December 8, 2016. So this is back in 2016, guys. Kettle One, actually, if you bought a Kettle One um, bottle, you actually received this, um, this makeshift VR headset in which you can just place your phone in. And they actually had a website, which is actually not available anymore, I don't believe. I clicked on the link and it kind of threw me an error. But vr.kettle1.com, it actually took you to a, um, a whole new world, I would say. So once assembled, getting a Kettle One custom VR experience is easy by navigating to the website. Once there, you can take a tour of Kettle's bottling plant, explore the town of Shiddam, where Kettle One began and still operates, and get a quick drinks mixing lesson from bartending legend uh, Dale DeGroff. Um, so yeah, this not too much to say about this. I'm not. I'm assuming they're not doing this anymore. I haven't seen this um, around with anyone that I know of or anything like that. I've never even came across it, so I'm uh, surprised um, uh, to have I have found this article in the first place. But there's a lot you can find on the web once you actually do some digging. Um, so yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this. Again, this is just another use case. Um, this is probably the coolest thing. They probably got a lot of sales. That was probably the coolest thing that was in the uh, the liquor store at the time. So uh, definitely do check this one out um, and then see how you could use it for your own purposes. All right. And so the last one here is actually something I find that is interesting indeed um, because they are literally turning water into wine. So uh, this company here, they're calling them Voctails. And these Voctails are virtual cocktails made of nothing but water. Um, so you actually get the smell, the aroma, uh, the I think the taste also, if I'm not mistaken. Um, actually, let me let me just I'll show to play the video for you guys because this is really really cool. So full screen on that. Yeah, so you do have flavors of electronic pulses on the tongue. That's crazy. They got a bunch of different flavors on there. So yeah, so you guys let me know what you think about that for sure. Um, a lot of people, they you know do the whole hookah thing. Um, and it's really just like flavored air in my opinion. Um, so this is like one of those flavored water kind of things that, you know, kind of give you the sensation of drinking a margarita, um, a Mai Tai, a Bahama Breeze or something like that. Um, so and I believe this company was out for quite some time. Uh, and I'm just really curious to know where they are now. I'm actually going to do some more digging and some more research on that um, further on there as well. Um, so, yeah. So, again... Today's episode was really all about what's going on in different industry, the mainly the bar 
and spirit industry about how they are using this technology, how they're getting more digitized and everything. Um, and I believe they're doing a really good job, especially the Voctail. That's going to be a, a very interesting one there. And then to see what, you know, now that NFTs and stuff like that are a big thing, to see what these different companies actually do come up with uh, later on down the line as well is going to be um, quite interesting to watch as well. Um, but the only way you're going to find that out is if you keep watching this show because I definitely will keep you all well informed on that. So definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. Uh, I don't have anything else. Please do check out all the links inside of the description and uh, check in with me on all my social media channels. And until then, take it easy.